Hello, Assalamualaikum. We meet again. Today, we are going to continue Chapter 5, Chemical Bonding with Lesson 27, Hybridization. We are going to draw and describe the formation of sigma and pi bonds from overlapping of orbitals and the formation of carbon dioxide, ethene, ethyne, and benzene. Before anything else, we need to know what is valence bond theory. We have four postulates on valence bond theory. Number one is, a bond is formed when atomic valence orbitals overlap with each other. Number two, overlapping orbitals contain a pair of electrons. Number three, Electron density concentrates between bonded atoms. Number four, the strength of the bond depends on the degree of overlapping. So we can say that the covalent bond is formed when atomic orbitals overlap. In one set of overlapping orbitals, there are two electrons with their spins shared. Two types of bond are sigma bond and pi bond. What are they? Let's discuss the simplest molecule, hydrogen gas. Sigma bond can be formed when there is one bonding interaction that results from the overlapping. A bond can result from overlapping end to end of atomic orbitals on neighboring atoms. This is the hydrogen gas. Hydrogen gas is formed from the overlapping of an S and an S orbitals. You can see that the sigma bond is formed in the middle of the two S orbital or the two circle belong to hydrogen atom. Let's draw the example 5.17. We have one S orbital that belongs to one hydrogen atom. And the same thing, we have another one. This overlapping space belongs to a sigma bond. Sigma bond can also be formed from the overlapping of S orbitals and p orbitals as we can see here the s and p is overlapping and there is an area there where we label them sigma bond so now let's draw the overlapping orbital of the molecule hydrogen fluoride First, we draw an S orbital that belongs to hydrogen atom. And then we want to draw the P orbital of fluorine. So here it goes. And the overlapping part would be labeled as the sigma bond. And don't forget to label the fluorine atom. Okay. Sigma bond can also be formed from the overlapping of a P and P orbitals overlapped at head-to-head -head basis. Let's draw the orbital overlapping in the chlorine gas molecule. So firstly, we draw one P orbital that belongs to a chlorine atom and there would be another P P orbital for the other chlorine atom. The space where the orbital overlaps head to head here is labeled as sigma bond. Now, what is pi bond? There are two loops of P orbitals overlap side to side would give pi bond. This is a sideways of overlapping for two p orbitals. This occurs in molecules with double or triple bond. You can see 
that the two p orbitals overlap side by side. So those two area that overlap, we labeled as pi bond. This is an example of the occurrence of pi bonds, two pi bonds for the molecule of NO+, which is having a triple bond. How do we draw this? Let me show you in the next slide. Basically, we have to draw the sigma bond first. So we draw, this is the p orbital of nitrogen that is overlapping head to head with the p orbital of oxygen. So this would be the space where we have the sigma bond. So the two p orbital here is basically the px perhaps. Now, there are three types of p orbital, right? We've learned that we also have py. So we draw PY for both of the nitrogen and oxygen atom. Therefore, we would not be able to flip the paper that we have drawn here. So we can just draw a line to show that we are actually overlapping the space on the side of the p y orbitals here so we label once this is another bond which is pi bond now we know that n form triple bond with oxygen so there must be another one pi so we draw the PZ okay this is the PZ and the PZ of oxygen will overlap with the PZ of nitrogen excuse my bad drawing this one is going to be overlapped here and again we label it once on top here so this is the drawing, the structure of NO plus having one sigma bond and two pi bonds represented by the triple bond. Another example of a triple bond is the nitrogen gas. You can see that the PX, PY, PZ is all overlaps between the two nitrogen atoms. As a conclusion, we can say that a single bond would have one sigma bond. A double bond would have one sigma and one pi, whereas a triple bond, like we have drawn just now, has only one sigma bond but two pi bonds. Let's do practice 5.8 together. Determine the number of sigma and pi bonds in the molecules. For CH4, we have four sigma bonds because they have four single bonds. For C2H4 etene, we have one, two, three, four, five sigma bond, and we have one pi bond as stated. For carbon dioxide, we have 1 and 2 sigma bond and another 1 and 2 pi bonds. For ethane, we have 1, 2, 3 sigma bond and another 2 pi bonds. Wow, this is a benzene ring. So let's calculate and count how many sigma bonds are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 between the carbon and hydrogen. But between carbon and carbon, 7.
seven, eight, nine in the double bond, 10, 11, 12. And we also have three pi bonds in benzene ring. Thank you very much for listening and I'll see you again soon. Assalamualaikum. Bye.